by the German Rossi Cafe, um, talking to you today about osteoarthritis disease, uh, which is an irritation of the uh, tubercle here, just below the kneecap, okay? It's uh, usually a repetitive strain irritation of RSI injury. Um, what you want to try and do with this is keep the leg nice and flexible. If your leg is nice and flexible, you need to also look at the function of the hips in conjunction with the quads, okay? So one thing you want to try and do first, we'll take the pressure of this, is to get it warmed up. So if you have time, obviously do a little bit of abdominal work, some crunches, uh, leg raises, things like that, as long as you're comfortable with that, just to get your core temperature up. Then you want to get yourself a foam roller. Something like this will do. Simply lay down on your front, into a plank position, and roll your thighs back and forth like this, nice and slow. You spend about two minutes doing this. You may want to emphasize your, your bad legs, so just get cross one leg onto the other top of the other, and just go up and down, like so. And then you can even put your weight on the side and do the iliotibial tract as well, which is usually pretty painful, but worth doing. Keep a good strong core when you do this, because everything you do is training, okay? Even your warm-ups, right? So you do that first, get it nice and warm, and then you want to try and do some um, work for your hamstring. So what we'll do is we'll get a band and I'll show you how. Okay, so here's my band. I'm going to wrap this around a solid surface. Use under a door, on the door handle, as long as it's not going to open against you, like so. Simply place this around your ankle, like that, and down on the ground. And you want to try and do some leg curls, like so. I like to start off with a nice strong contraction for about 10 seconds, keep my, my tummy held in the whole time, <clears throat> and then solo down. And then bring it back up again and down. I'm aiming for about 10 reps. Okay, really squeezing at the top. Get a nice contraction in your hamstring here. We do this to get that knee joint nice and warm. Now, if you find this irritates your knee, you can also put a pillow on your thigh so the leg is slightly raised off the ground so the kneecap isn't rubbing on the ground. After you've done your 10 repetitions, finish on that final set by holding in the contraction for again for about 10 seconds and a release. If you can, do about three sets of these. Once you've done both legs, then get your band and place your band around your knees. Now one thing you see sometimes with people who've got knee injuries is when they squat down have a tendency to veer off to one side. When you've got a band here, the band is going to keep your body in a, an equal weight bearing position on each side. Okay, so as you squat down, you have to force your knees against the band, like so. And again, with this, just two straight sets, it's not so easy to do a, an isometric contraction unless you're gonna hold it like we are in this position. You can do that if you will, but I just like to do this nice and slowly. And you're aiming for say three straight sets of about 10 to 20 repetitions, okay? Once you've then done that, you want to move on to the glute area. You can use the band for this or not. Start yourself up simply with some regular bridges. Again, as before, hold your tummy in, hold your glutes nice and tight, and just retain your contraction for about 10 seconds. Then afterwards, repeat and try 10 repetitions, nice and slowly. And on the final 10th rep, again, hold that for 10 seconds. And release. Do that once or twice just to make sure the glutes are nicely kicking in. You can also put the band around the knees when you do this to really emphasize the glute function. So we're going to keep it nice and tight and lift and drop them down. And that puts a little pressure on the outer part of your glutes, the glute medius in particular. Once you've done that, you can re isolate the individual glutes. So if we're looking at, say, for example, the right glute which is weaker, then come back onto your back, take the, the left leg up in the air straight up if you like or out in front, hold your tummy in, squeeze your glute and lift single leg, again hold for 10 seconds and then release and slowly crank out about 10 repetitions. Really put your emphasis on the bum, think about your bum doing all the work. You don't want the thighs or the hamstrings to do the work on this occasion. 
And again, on that final reset, hold for 10 seconds, just to really finish off that muscle and relax. But make sure your form is good the whole time. Once you've done that, obviously go back on the roller, roll the thighs out, and then if you want to, try some uh, gentle quad stretches. Uh, I think for someone some who's got like an osgood status type of injury, maybe just a standard standing quad stretch, like so. Bring your knees together, heel to your buttock, nice upper posture, hold the tummy in, and retain the tension there for about 30 seconds if you can. Try to relax the knee and the thighs you're doing it, and release, okay? But yeah, give that a try, see how you get on, and uh, hopefully that should help. Also, don't forget to ice pack afterwards. Um, if the knee feels irritated, just try and calm that down. Um, and if uh, you've done this say for about three sessions and there's no improvement or you feel worse and I strongly suggest you stop or reassess uh, the problem. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Speak to you soon.